Hi and welcome to the Felt Hub. Today we are going to learn how to add a gorgeous top coat to our needle felted sheep, which quite honestly is looking a little bit sad at the moment with a kind of ET type neck. But I've done it a little bit longer the neck so that I can show you how brilliant the, the long fur looks and that just really adds to the finished look. So don't be perturbed by that at the moment. So this is my Herdrick sheet that I've pre-prepared. You can see that on my other tutorials. I'll drop some links in the description. So what I'm going to do with this today is add a, a gorgeous top coat. And instead of a curly one, I'm going to add a straight top coat. And as it's a Herdwick, I am going to use this beautiful, coarse Herdwick wool top, which is absolutely perfect for this project. And this technique works the same for all top coats so whether it be um, a highland cow that i've got here this is just this is wool tops as well just a, a different wool top there's a, a full tutorial for that also link in the description so we'll get going so i've just got a flat wool mat here that's all we're going to need because we're just doing 3d felting we're not doing any flat felting and I have a 38 star needle here, which is a good all rounder. And then I may or may not use this 40 triangular later on. And that's got a finer needle. And you can see that when it bends. That just shows you that it's a little bit more flimsy than the 38. And I'm going to be using the 38 mostly, if not all the time, because there's wire in these legs and I don't want to break the needle. And if I, I know that if I hit the wire with this 38, chances are it won't bend or break, but it definitely will with the 40. May use that for some finer detail later on, but probably not. So here we are. I've got my Herdwick wool here. And all we're going to do is create a skirt, sort of two or three layers of skirt all the way around. So I'm just going to split that length down the middle and then I'm just going to and I think this is the one time when I will actually you know one of the few times when I will actually cut the wool so we want the same lengths and what's going to happen is we're going to double up these lengths and then we're going to trim them so we only really want short lengths so find, I'm going to find the length that I want, which is probably something like this. And because this is all going to be loose and not attached to anything, it doesn't matter that I've cut through those fibres and then we're not wasting too much wool. So I'm just going to cut a few of those so that we're working with the same length, more or less. and then just lay those down here. For now, ready to use. So I'm taking my first one and I'm just, it's quite thick still, even though I've split it down the middle. So I'm just going to spread that out and I'm going to just fold in half and lay that on the base here. So I'm starting just at the bottom here where the leg is where the leg finishes really and I'm just felting along that fold nothing more difficult than that I may come under and pop another layer under here later but chances are I won't need to and just make sure you're following a nice line there we go There is a link in the description um, for the Highland Cow tutorial. There's a full tutorial on that. And I'll also pop a link in the description for the needle felting kits. There's also a needle felting kit for this particular project. And again, just from where we finished, mind those fingers. If you are new to felting or are prone to stabbing yourself with the needle, then pop on some finger guards. And don't worry if you lose some of this wool it's not going on in a perfectly straight fold it really doesn't matter it's all going to be covered up and that's the beauty of this and that's why um it's it's brilliant for beginners as well because if there's any mistakes underneath you're not going to see them but the overall effect is is pretty amazing 
So I'm just going to continue with this skirt. You do the same and then we'll pop back. So as you can see now, I've got a skirt of wool top all the way around and you can use any wool top. I'm using Herdrick just because I, I love the effect that this gives and as it's a Herdrick sheep, it seems very fitting. So then we're just going to repeat the same, but we're going to start just above this skirt here and create another one. So I've cut my pieces here and you can either, as I showed you in the first part of the tutorial, fold it or if you want you can just lay it on top and just felt across the center either way works and then as you can see there's that gap between the two and then just go all the way around and repeat as you did for that first layer if you haven't already subscribed or if you're already a subscriber to my channel, make sure you actually hit that notification bell because unless you do that, you won't know when I'm posting new tutorials and I do a lot of tutorials. They're all completely free and they are tutorials for beginners, improvers and those that are a little bit more experienced. So there's, there's something for everyone on the channel. And then in addition to that, I have a brilliant blog, which I know you will love. And again, that not only has tutorials on, but it also has free patterns and downloads. So I will pop all the links in the description for that down below. The blog is, is kind of my baby. It's, it's been going a few years now and um, I never intended to, to do a blog. I just sort of posted a couple of tutorials and they people seem to like them and it's just grown from there and it's absolutely chocked full of stuff there are wool guides felting needle guides um accessories guides for mats uh for all you know different felting mats how to use different multi-tools i mean the list is endless and there's all the drop down menus there it's quite easy to navigate and you can just dip in and out of it, a bit like you would do with Pinterest. And there we go. You can see that second skirt now is coming along nicely. Just tuck those ends down. And then just come to the front here to finish off around here. And if this is your first time visiting me in the Felt Hub, if you go to the playlists, uh, especially if you're a, um, well, if you're a new felter, then if you go to the playlists, you'll find my guide to basic body shapes. So that will get you going. Really easy tutorials, simple body shapes that you can use as the base for all your needle felting projects. And there we go. And then we just keep building that up. So I am just looking at that and wondering if I need another skirt and then the top layer, but I don't think I do. I think I might, no, I will. We'll have two layers, I think. No, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with one layer down the, the center here right down the back and then if I need to add another layer underneath here if the gaps visible then I'll add another layer so just straight down the middle separate that and this herdrick wool is quite thick you will probably end up using around I don't know 20 grams at the most so <laughs> as you can see at the moment that's looking a bit mad and then here around the neck what we really need to do is make sure that we 
remove this ET look and bring that quite high up because we're going to trim all of this and we're going to really thin it out as if you're at the hairdressers we're going to sort of snip into it and really thin it out so it's going to kind of puff out and um, look brilliant when it's it's finished so I'm just separating some smaller pieces here and just putting this around the neck And now you can see why I did the neck longer than I no normally would if I'd just done um, a curly sheep. You don't even have to have a neck, in fact. Um, this sheep, all I have is um, wiring the neck and wiring the legs. The rest is just um, just wool. You, know, you don't need any wire at all. But if you want to you know, pose anything or move the legs about or a bit more stability, then you can just add the wire into the legs and or the neck if you wish yeah I think we need a little bit under there so I'm just going to and he wants to be short So I'm just going to pop that under there. And I'm felting just below where I've snipped the fibres because once you snip through the fibres of wool, they lose their integrity. So, you know, all those fibres that lock together, you've just snipped through them. So they don't felt into the wool underneath as easily so I'm just going just below where the cut line is that's better so we'll look at this side and just pop a little bit under there as well So just go around and check everything, make sure that you've got covered up what you need to, don't worry about underneath, you don't really need to worry about that at all and we're going to trim this really short. So just give that a check, make sure everything is secure. Now the next part is quite messy because we're going to trim all of this. So what I've done is I've just laid some paper down and I've moved my mat out of the way because otherwise it's going to be a nightmare trying to clean it because we're actually going to start trimming now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my little legs, pull these out so that they're actually in position and start trimming. And I shall speed up the video for this part because otherwise we'll be here for an absolute age. That was my dog moaning in the background, just in case you're wondering. I think she's bored. And you see, I'm just cutting into it, cutting all the way around, finding the length, making sure the legs are visible. And you're actually creating layers so the base layer needs to be the longest and then as you move up the sheep the layers are going to become shorter but don't be too precious about it because we're going to snip into it and sort of fan it all out can't see these legs here so i am just going to Trim around there a little more, give it a little tap. I'm just going to take my needle, make sure this center is firmly felted. Now 
we've still got some long bits there I'm just going to take those off and now we've done that I'm going to snip in like I said hairdresser style so that we're layering it so you're snipping into it and what this is doing is it's really thinning it out so be quite ruthless We want to lose a lot of this, so then you can just take your needle and take all of those bits that we've snipped away out. So there we have it. I've snipped and primped and preened for about, I don't know, 15 minutes, a good 15 minutes. And um, you can either take it outside when you're doing it and give it a good shake when you've cut into it. Or um, what I do as well is I put the vacuum on a low setting and I just sort of gently suck around it because it can get quite messy. But look at the difference. That looks amazing. Our Herdwick's now ready for a winter, a cold, harsh winter on the Cumbrian Fells. Looks really really good and this herdwick wool is amazing and the great thing about this herdwick wool is when you're using it for this kind of project because it's a really coarse almost wiry wool um it doesn't mat like a finer wool would so it's absolutely perfect for this this kind of project so i hope you got a lot out of that i hope you learned some new techniques you can um take that technique and use it on so many different projects thanks for joining me Again, don't forget to hit that notification button and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Stay tuned for the next one.